were talking about exercising, and Ann Miller thinks that this is very important in our daily lives. No, I really do. I think it's. I think exercise is the secret of youth. I think keeping your body, um, your blood circulating, it gets your circulation going. And I also think that if you're terribly tired, I think particularly businessmen who work hard, that they should take a long walk, come back, and have a drink of some kind, one drink only, because that dilates the blood vessels. And I just think that these men live for years and years, and I think women too. Exercise is very important, and diet. And, and the correct diet. And the correct diet. What do you think about crash diet? Well, I tell you, I have done this. I go on a crash diet when I want to lose weight, but I go on an egg diet for four days. That's an old dancer's trick. I take two eggs for, you know, scrambled in the morning, two eggs that are hard boiled for lunch with some celery sticks and carrots and all the hot tea or coffee that you want. And the same thing at dinner at night. I just scramble hot eggs or two and you hard boiled. Six, six eggs a day. Six eggs a day, and you can lose, within four days, you can lose about six to seven pounds. Uh -huh. But I don't advise it to people that have a cholesterol problem, but it does B.W., work. B.W., come over here. <laughs> Listen, B.W. is, uh, you know... <laughs> B.W. Is, our, is our entertainment editor, and he has been dieting. He is so frail. Did you hear this? Did you hear what I Ann Miller was I saying? She's her? very right. Huh? She's very right, too. Huh? You agree but with that? With a little warning about cholesterol, yeah. Mm -hmm. you no, know, if, if they have any kind of a cholesterol problem, I don't recommend eggs, but that is a crash diet. It's a dancer's diet, and it works. It does. How did you lose that weight? Uh, it is very unwise the way I did it. I simply, seriously, I simply quit eating eat. and drink. That's right. It's a very stupid, very dangerous But he smokes. It. Yes. Love yes. them. Uh-oh. I'm telling you, Bernie. Yeah. Uh, uh, Where did you, you get that tie in that shirt? Do you, you want an exclusive? Do you want to you want to beat the Dayton Daily News? Is this going to be on this, No, this will, this, will, this will be on at 9.30, but not not when you think it will I be. I was going to tell you. were going to... Well, I simply raved about it. Well, I, I knew that. That's I right. knew it. The lead is cherub cheeks and delightfully leggy. My <laughs> goodness, I'm glad <laughs> I came to Dayton <laughs> when I hear all of those nice things. <laughs> That's well, very I'm only as good as the people I write about, Anne, really. Well, you're very sweet, B.W. Thank you very much. I'm going to get out of here and some more coffee. <laughs> God bless. Th Thank thanks, you. Bernie. Thank Joe Bisbee, come in here. Hello, so hello, great to see you. Oh. Good to see you on our so lovely, good to lovely see you. Uh, Isn't she wonderful, Joe? Wasn't she great tonight? Yes, marvelous. Betty, you haven't met our, our manager of Dayton now, and I think all of Dayton oh, should meet him. Larry Elston. Hello, Larry Elston. Larry Elston. Very nice to meet you. The Dayton Theater for us, and you'll be working with him about having all the stars on your show. Certainly will, Joe. And, of course, you're up in Columbus. Columbus, and you'll be and Warren and up Dayton, there. I'm everywhere. Well, you're uh, John Kenley's assistant. John, come in here. Come John, come here. turn around here, John. Hey. John. I was worried. No, sir, I was worried. John, John. <laughs> Listen, you look marvelous in your bill blast. Suit. This is the first time I've ever been on television. We have to take your bottle away. Really? No, oh, second time. Blarney, the last time I was on television, Cheryl Crawford sued me. I looked so much like her. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank John you, John. Kenley, wonderful. Devil. Isn't he fabulous? Oh, I love John Kenley. He's no, been, he, been wonderful to me. And I tell you, John Kenley has a wonderful reputation. Uh, he makes the stars happy. He makes them comfortable. He treats them like a king and a queen, and they all want to come back year after year. I think when you have that kind of a reputation, particularly in this business, uh, it's something that's well earned, and they all come back to him. They the really do. People in the industry come and work for John Kenley. Whenever you listen to any of the big network shows, you'll hear John Kenley's name mentioned. He's a master, I think, yes, when it comes to summer he theater. He is, Betty. And um, I tell you, uh, John was wonderful. He looked over my Danes of Sea television contract and helped me and gave me so much advice. He's just I like to just listen to him. He knows about show business. He's been brought up in show business. He was with the Schubert's originally, you I know, in New York. Was. So it's like talking to the dean. And I think you're just never too old to learn. And I like to listen and learn from people. And so many times people think of you as being a great dancer, but you have a great singing voice. You really do. Thank you very much, Betty. Um, I've always sang in pictures, but I think people you know, always wanted to see me dance and they never paid much attention to my singing. No. But um, now because of Maine on Broadway and because of Dolly, uh, the, so, the score is so great. And Jerry Herman, incidentally, was supposed to be here tonight, but I think he's going to come to Columbus to see it, to see the show. But Jerry Herman is very proud of me because uh, he feels that it, it's because of his scores, and it's true. I've, the only two shows I've done 
Casper, I sang, I, I, I ever done on Broadway, you know, were Mame, and now I'm doing Dolly, and they're both Jerry Herman, they're both his. Isn't that strange? Oh, I think it's great, yeah, it Ann Miller, and I hope wonderful. that everyone will come down and see Hello, Dolly. I they have they a will. chance to see Thank the you, one Betty. and only Ann Miller. Oh, You're beautiful, Ann. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me, Betty. Thank you. Bye-bye. That floor was so slippery. It was so slippery you, tonight, huh? Dear, what so what happened, Ann Miller? Well, it was just like a ballroom floor, and they were so darling. You know, they tried to wash it down with Coke. If you see, put a lot of Coca-Cola all over it, it gets sticky. But by the time the people that. danced on it, and they got to my number, all the Coke had been danced off. So it was just like a ballroom floor. So I skated around out there. But it was fun, and they're going to fix it tomorrow night. But it's a beautiful show. Don't you think it is? Oh, they loved you tonight. Everybody loves Dolly, you know. But it was so... <laughs> no, tonight is exciting because it's... Oh, Night it is. It's thrilling. Of the <laughs> Kenley Theater, yeah. and uh, we couldn't open with a better show than Hello, Dolly, with Ann Thank Miller you. and my dear, dear friend, Dean Dittman. Dean, welcome back. Thank you, Betty. You're looking beautiful this year. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> I've lost a couple pounds. How are I you see, doing, huh? I see. I gained a couple. <laughs> <laughs> On you, they look good, Dean. <laughs> Thank you. No, listen, we're having a wonderful party at Henry's Restaurant after the opening of Hello, Dolly. And, Ann, you look so relaxed. Oh, you I, really do. I am. I'm very relaxed. Well, number one, I love Dolly. It's a lot easier than Mame to do. Is really? It? Oh, yes. It's easier physically to do. But it's a beautiful show, and it has it has a lot of love in it. I and, want uh, I, I hope that, you know, that uh, you'll come again and see it, Betty, because the floor was slippery for me. But it's going to be fixed tomorrow night. They're, they're going to put more really, coke down her? Huh? She really is never relaxed. She just says she's relaxed, you <laughs> see. But she never relaxed. <laughs> but, you know, she's really wonderful. And I have a line in the show that I say twice in the show. And I really mean it because with all of her, you know, sort of carrying on and her energy and everything, she's a wonderful woman. Thank and you, That's, Dean. that's very sweet. Thank but you. I mean this from the heart. Horace Van de Gelder. <laughs> You'll be good. <laughs> I want to know what you two are eating up there. Well, I tell you, we eat, we eat lots of things like um, spaghetti, <laughs> meatballs. No, but how many on stage? On stage, she means on stage. On stage. Oh, on, on stage. Oh, I thought you meant how we were keeping our figures. No, I want to know about that too. We actually eat turkey and we eat chicken, and uh, they, we sneak in some uh, for beets. They're what are they? Spiced pears, I think, right. yeah. and they look like beets. I thought that would be much more fun to eat than beets. Beets are kind of no, this sour, is, you know. It's difficult to do to eat and to talk. It really is. It is. But and then, of course, I have to come right back on and do a big song and dance number. And it is difficult because sometimes things, you know, get kind of lodged in your throat or something. It's not <laughs> easy or in your teeth or something. You can't very well come out with a toothpick. But uh, it all works out. Somehow, God takes care of you. It all works out. And how would you keep your hats on? Well, tonight it almost fell off. You know, um, Dolly, uh, it, I love that period for a show. It's the bustles and the big feather hats and... The women were so feminine and so kind of, the, their dresses with the, you know, all the finery and the laces and the velvet. It was a beautiful era. It, I think, it, don't you think so, Dean? Sure it was is. a romantic era, yeah. you know, and uh, I suppose that's about like the 1890s. She Hello, feels, Dolly. When we were rehearsing, it'll be Kazan is a clairvoyant sort of. And, and clairvoyant? Yes. Huh? Well, I'm an Aries. Yes. I was really? born. It was born. I I come from a family of mediums, actually. And when uh, she got her costumes on, she said, "I know I've lived in this period." I just before. She said it, it several times. Really, Dean? Yeah. No, yeah. I did. Huh? I really did. Honest, Betty. It's true. I felt, I felt that I had lived at one time in this era. I, I don't think it's imagination. I really felt it. It was like a far memory coming back, you know. I just love Dolly. I love Mame and Dolly. I'm very lucky that I was, Mr. Kenley asked me to do those two parts for him because... And listen, you know what I heard? difficult parts to that do. That in war, and of course, you've just opened here, and they truly thought you were magnificent tonight. But I hear you're going back for an additional week in Warren, Ohio. We're very thrilled. John Kenley has made this cast so happy. Imagine bringing that show back to close this season. We opened this season, isn't that right, Dean? And then we're the last, uh, we're the last yeah. to close this okay. season. So 
So that's a, a big honor, and we're very happy about that. Oh, and yeah. listen, yeah. we're so happy to have you in Dayton. And, of course, we love every time that you come, Dean. But listen, I love it, too. Huh? Listen, we like your <laughs> outfit. Listen, you know the extra weight looks good on you, Dean. Oh, good. Yeah, it really does. I'm what glad. have you been eating, Sundays? You and think Sundays? I'm a romantic lead now? Huh? Did you yeah, feel oh, that I was yeah. romantic? Well, I yeah. know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's very romantic. <laughs> yeah, what, do you, what do you have to tell us, Ed? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, Dean is just wonderful. I think Dean should be doing romantic leads. I think when they release applause to Stock, that they, he's going to be marvelous in that role, the role opposite. So Lauren Bacall is doing it in New York. But I think, you know, if it's ever released to Summer Stock, it would be a wonderful part for him. And I would like to play the lead, Matt. No. I think it would be good. No, That's listen, part, Tommy. Yay! <laughs> now, you, you yeah. play so, so well together. I want to know, though, what, what you have coming up after this Well, summer. I tell you, I had to cancel out two weeks of my Hello Dolly tour because uh, Anne Margaret's uh, agent called me. They want me to do Dames at Sea with her and um, co-star with her on television. And they're going to do Dames at Sea, which was a Broadway show, as a one-hour special. And I'm very thrilled about it. But it was a little bit of a heartbreak because I had to buy out of my contract at Atlanta, Georgia. It cost me $6,000 to buy out of it. But oh, it's worth hard. it because I do think Dames at Sea is going to be... Um, an exciting special for television. It's fun. It's the story of the 20s. It ribs the Ruby Keeler, Dick Powell era. I just think that's kind of fun, and I think people like all that now. They, they, they like going back to the nostalgic things. I, I think they do, too. I'm getting a little bored with the rock and roll, and it, it, they've had that. I think the wheel turns, the clock turns, and it's got to turn back to something romantic with love in it, something beautiful and fun. And you are so vital. And I know the ladies out there want to know, you know, any secrets that you have. Oh, thank you, Betty. That's, come on now. No, <laughs> no, I mean this. Well, sincerely. I really don't have any secrets. As I say, I eat all the wrong things sometimes. Um, but actually, I do believe in getting plenty of rest and vitamin C. I know that's a widely discussed issue right now, but I do believe in vitamin C. I do believe in taking vitamins and supplementing your diet because I don't think today that we're getting the proper nutrition from our food because of the DTTs and whatever all that stuff is they, they you know, <laughs> put all over our vegetables. I just believe that you have to do that if you want to stay healthy today. And do you work out, do you dance several hours a day? Um, well, when I'm in the show, you bet. Um, when I'm not uh, doing a show, I usually try to dance at least two or three times a week, and I have a two-hour session. But uh, it's kind of lonely walking in a dance hall all by yourself. Uh, but it's, you have to, otherwise you get out of uh, condition, and uh, when you try to go you know, back to do a show, you can't cut it. And as you get older, it becomes more and more difficult.